I was just thinking about something. I was reading uh, some comments, and I was following someone else on a live. He was asking about uh, relationships and how to reach out to people and how to build relationships and what to do when you actually uh, come to an agreement with somebody to make a song and for example right now I'm I've kind of I have a couple conversations cooking right now about collaborations um, music's being made lyrics are being written and uh, it's kind of <clears throat> it can be kind of difficult how do I navigate this well the first thing that you need to know is that contracts exist so people don't screw each other over, right? Contracts exist so people follow the rules and that there's recourse when <clears throat> people don't act appropriately. So, where do you start when you wanna collab? You start with people who act appropriately. If someone is, if someone is naturally uh, into the type of music or similar to what you're doing, making the type of music that you make then those those relationships should come natural you know you reach out to them hey what's up hey I like your music hey you know and they're like oh hey I like your music too hey maybe we should do something do you want to collab blah 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 now unless there's a, a major difference between you and the next guy that or a girl that you're working with things should be 50 50 like if, if I have a very if I have no fan base and I'm and I'm featuring on someone's song who has a, a substantial fan base, they're gonna expect me to to provide something of value for them, whether that's money or something else, vice versa. If uh, if I'm some no name rapper, I'm gonna pay somebody to be on my verse because they're it doesn't help them, right? So um, the thing is. If you're working, the most natural thing to do is work with people who are on the same level as you or within the vicinity of uh, your fan base, your exposure, because then you both benefit of the same off, um, off the, the collaboration, but also you don't have to exchange anything extra on top of it to make it worth the other person's while, you see? Because if you're equal and you're on the same plane, if you're on the same plane, you're on the same level, you both do half, you both get half, and you both benefit probably equally because your exposure is equally limited before the collaboration, okay? So, I started off by saying that, um, that contracts exist because people do stupid stuff sometimes and it there has to be recourse for those actions. However, but if you're reaching out with someone that's on an equal equal exposure, equal status as you are, and it's someone that you've reached out to organically and you've talked to them and you've gotten to know them, there isn't really any reason why one of you, perhaps it's you, make your, if you're curious about or you're concerned about what if this person is gonna screw me over, Take responsibility by being the person that uploads the music to the platforms. Say, for example, if you, if you write the lyrics to a song and that other person produces it, if you're concerned about them going behind your back and maybe taking the royalties or whatever, you be the person that puts it up on the platform to where when you're going through the distributor, you can indicate, you know, 50% of the lyrics go to him, 50% go to me because we co-wrote it, or maybe you wrote all the lyrics, right? So you put yourself down as 100% lyrics, and then maybe you split it on production, right? If you're that concerned about people taking advantage of you, be the person who indicates that on the front end, because the only thing, the only way that they can take advantage of that or of you or your collaboration when, when it happens is if they are in control and they are the one that upload the details to the track. Because Spotify or whoever, iTunes, they only know what the person inputs. So if you're that person, then, you know, then you get a reputation as someone who's honest. You That person may even shout you out and then someone else who's honest is gonna come looking for you as well.
But here's the thing. If you are a, a lyric writer, let's say you wrote the lyrics and the person who posts the music is honest or maybe you took it upon yourself to put the music up yourself and you're honest, that's, that's you know, the... That's the, that's the royalties you get for streams or purchases from, say, iTunes or Spotify. But here's the thing. You're responsible for your individual registration of, that, of those lyrics or that composition on your end, regardless if they post it or if you post it. See, because that's, that's, where, that's where the knowledge of the royalties comes into play. Because when it comes to, when it comes to publishing... That's your end. Even if that person uploads your music that you collabed on together and you split the royalties from the streams, that person may be getting their own royalties on the back end for their publishing because they wrote some of the lyrics. But if you haven't registered your with if you haven't registered your your part of the music or the part of the lyrics, the songwriting, the composition on to your own publisher then you're not getting that regardless of what they do okay so you're both you're both responsible for i guess you could call the mechanical royalties or the 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 the, the streams the plays and then your then your pro or your publishing or your performing rights organization is going to collect on the performance of that collaboration or that content but you are responsible for going to the publisher for your own composition and writing aspects your writing your your composition your writer uh royalties so if someone if someone's going to double cross you it's going to be on the stream side uh but if but if as long as you have your writing and your composition and all of that registered with your publisher it doesn't matter what that person does because you're going to get the royalties every time that song's played or every time those lyrics are used or any time that music is is recognized on YouTube, for example. So I just want to throw that out there. I don't know if that helps, Bufo, but um, I just wanted to address that because there's, there's certain precautions that you can take that, um, that protect you um, from a relational point of view, you know, can I trust this person? What do they like? Have I talked to them? Are they willing to have a FaceTime or a, 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 an IG live chat or something in order to get uh, stuff nailed down? Are they cool with me uploading the stuff to the platforms? Are they willing to promote it themselves as well as you, right? There's relational aspects that you got to do to cover yourself. But then there's also legal things on the back end that you can that you can do for yourself. Um, one of those things is make sure that you have a publisher and that you are are going to them to get uh, your your publishing royalties and your composition and your songwriter uh, royalties. 